Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we have an amazing problem for you guys. We're going to be talking about top K frequent elements, right? So this is a very good problem there, and I'm very excited about it. So let's see what it's all about, right? So it says given an integer array nums, right, and an integer K, return the K most frequent elements. So you may return the answer in any order, right? So very, very good, right? And so there will be given an array and an integer K, right? And we need to return the k most frequent element, right? That okay. So for example one, right? We see we have a simple array, an integer k, right? And the answer is one and two, right? It's one and two because, right? They're asking us to return the two most frequent elements, right? That's what it is, right? Two most frequent elements, right? K most frequent elements, right? So the two most frequent element in this array, right? We could easily spot it. We can see that it's one because one and two, right? Because one occurred three times, right? And two occurred two times. So that's why we end up returning one and two, because three only uh, occurred uh, three times, one time, right? So it was it didn't make the cut because we can only return the K most frequent element, right? Which in this case is two only, right? So, and we have one here. One is only uh, in one, right? So the most frequent element is one, right? Because there are no, no other numbers. So it doesn't really matter, right? So very very good all right so i think uh we kind of understood the, the ask right you know we we're given an array and we need to return uh the k, k most frequent elements right so that's kind of what we need to do guys right so uh we know we could easily spot it you know visually we could see things right but we need to write a computer program because we know that the array can be very big and huge right so it might not be as easy as that right so what kind of algorithm do we need to use to kind of solve this problem guys right so like normally like we know the shadow right we normally like to start off with the brute force solution obvious solution right non-clever solution right so how do we go and solve it right you know so okay so we need to return the top k okay okay maybe uh straightforward way i'm thinking about it right now is to maybe do some kind of sorting right so we sort the array right or we create another array and we sort it based on the uh frequency right of the numbers right so we would obviously have need to keep track of the frequency of the numbers right and right sort it sort that array right based on the frequency of that array right so we will start off just by maybe i'm thinking uh create a hash map right of all the uh numbers right a hash map so the key would be the number and the value would be the frequency right and how many times that number occurred right and then we just build a, a, uh, a sorting function or whatever right that you know sorts it based on the frequency of those uh numbers right so uh this approach would be a little bit decent right i mean that's a very good way to start it off right but you know the time complexity guys right you could tell it's not gonna be very good right because of the sorting that we have to do okay uh the sorting obviously is gonna cost the analog and guys right so which is not good so we kind of maybe try to see where we can improve at, right? You know, that's, it's decent, right? It's a start. It's a pretty decent solution to give to your interviewer, right? You know, to show your problem solving skills, right? They actually know something, okay? So, yeah, how do we improve, guys, right? It's kind of what we need to ask ourselves. So, maybe if there is a way we could keep track of the uh, top K element, right? And uh, maybe dynamically updated based on, you know, certain criteria, right? So, what I'm thinking uh, is to, because we need a way to keep track of the K elements, right? And also we need to find a way to easily remove uh, when we, let's say the elements that were, let's say we're holding K elements, right? And then we end up adding K plus one elements, right? So now in that subset of elements, we need a way to have access to the element that's the least frequent, right? And remove that uh, element from the data structure right and keep doing that until we iterate through every number right and uh and by at the end of it maybe store only the k elements right so what that data structure is coming to mind right that can help us to solve this pretty easily right? because we want that uh constraint that we want that property where we can have access to the least frequent element right and then remove that element easily the dishwasher of choice, guys, is the heap, guys, right? You know, I mean, heap, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm referring to, guys, because we can easily have access to the smallest uh, element, right? Which would be at the top of the heap, right? And we can remove it. 
from the heap, right? Right. So that's that's this one would be a very good uh, this this structure would be a very good uh, for our use case right now, right? It's kind of uh, you know your great understanding of the structures can come at play, guys, right? When you understand, you see what kind of requirements that you need, what kind of requirements that you need, right? And choose the right data structure accordingly, right? So let's quickly go through uh, an example real quick. I think it'll make a lot more sense, guys, right? So we have this example here, right? And we were asking for the top K, right? Which is two in this case, right? So like we said, right, we will be uh, having some sort of a, a hash map, right? Which will store the a number and their frequency, right? So, so the hash map would be straightforward. So we have one occurring three times. We have two occurring two times, and we have three occurring one time, right? Pretty easy so far, guys, right? So, uh, what's next for us is to kind of build, right? So I told you I need to keep track of the uh, KA element, right? So our heap, right? Our dish of choice rate would store only uh, the uh, the K uh, element that we need to return to our caller, right? It's exactly what we're going to do, right? So that's what it's going to store. And once we go over a certain limit, right? Let's say we go over K, right? We automatically remove the smallest element, right? And that's going to be right at the top waiting for us, right? And that's what we end up choosing a main heap, guys, right? Because of that property, okay? Um, it allows us to get that, okay? All right, now, so let's submit it real quick. So now that we do have our uh, hash map, right? And the number and the frequencies, right? So we're just iterate through each number, right? And we add it to our heap, guys, right? So start off, let's say we start off with one, right? So one's at the top, right? And then we go to the next number, right? So we go ahead and we add two, guys, right? We add two, right? So since we just added two, right? And remember, guys, right? We're, we'll be prioritizing the ordering based on their frequency, right? And since two has a frequency that's less than one, right? Now, therefore, the heap will have to reorganize itself, right? Uh, now, two will be at the top and one would be a child, right? Okay, so now that one is here, right? So uh, now we go on to the next number, right? We still now over capacity, right? So we're going to be adding uh, another, uh, another number to it, right? So we add, go ahead, we add three, right? And now, since we added three, right, it's going to reorganize itself again, right? Another uh, thing they even call it hippify, right? So, so now uh, we will be. Now three will be at the top because remember guys, right? We're doing the uh, prioritization based on the frequency, right? So three will be at the top, right? So there's switch positions, it's pretty much, right? Okay. And then uh, two would be here, okay? And now since we went over capacity, right? Which is we only are keeping track of the K element, right? That's why this is very efficient guys, right? Because it allows us to only store k at a time right so the space will definitely improve right so yeah that's what we're doing here guys so now since we so now we see how it's efficient right? we have access to the top the top one is always the smallest one right? and we could easily just kick it out right easily like that guys right so now after the switch you know we switch it up you know we stored the so that's two and that's one guys right and uh yeah so that's kind of what it turns into now right after we remove three because we went over the capacity uh, right so and we're only storing the top k elements right that's what's going to be present in our heap guys right so uh hopefully you guys are able to understand the thought process right and the example so let's quickly go ahead and see the code and uh bring it home guys right so what we need to do is uh to have our map guys our map to help us and Keeping that right, so I'll get the frequency of each number, all right. And so, each number, um, so now we're gonna iterate through the, the array, right? Okay, uh, we're gonna be adding, um, each number, no, not that get. Uh, 
by default, sorry. To zero, right? So now we're just building our hash map right there, guys, right? Just spill every number to its frequency, okay? And now what's next for us to do, guys, is to um, have our heap, guys, right, that we need, okay? So it'll be a integer, right? Call him in heat, right? And then you, uh, this works. All right, so now that we have that, right? So now we're gonna have our comparator, right? And which is a B, right? It's a lambda function, right? So we're gonna be doing it like that. So do the prioritization based on the uh, frequency, okay? That's how it's gonna know to do that, guys, right? By doing that, okay? Uh, get the frequency from the map, okay? So now that we have that, right, we gotta iterate again, right, through each individual number. This is just exactly what we're doing earlier, guys, right? Num, and then we have each in unique number in the key set, right? The map that we just have. And uh, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna add a mini dot add, right? Uh, add that number, right? And then, as we're adding stuff to our data structure, remember, just like we're doing in the walkthrough, guys, right? We're gonna do a check, right? If the number, right? No, no, if the main heap, right? The size of it is greater than 30k, right? If we go over the capacity, guys, what we're gonna do is to remove the one at the top, right? Which is the smallest uh, number in terms of frequency, right? It's number that's the least frequent, right? So they get that out because I'm trying to store only the top frequent elements, right? The top k elements, okay? So if I'm gonna take out anything, it's gotta be the smallest one, right? Because that's not gonna help me at all, right? And now what we need to do, we need to sort of transform this into an array, guys, right? So what we're gonna do is to build our output results, right? And that was gonna be new ends of what size k, right? And uh, what's next for us is uh let's quickly just fill it up right so we're gonna need some kind of an index to help populate the uh array guys right and the condition for this folder that i just created guys is gonna be while the main heap is not empty okay while there's still elements right we're gonna be adding it into our uh, output results okay so we're gonna be main heap that poll i see my mistake already uh, I don't know what I'm thinking right there. Okay, so after we do that, we just do index plus plus, and it's gonna populate everything, guys, and it's gonna return the output result to the caller. Okay, so pretty straightforward code. Uh, we have our hash map that stores the frequency of each number, right? And then we have our main heap, which would be organizing everything based on the frequency, right? And we add stuff one by one into our um main heap right and once we reach a certain size right so we add numbers right one at a time and then once we reach a certain size right because we're being we're being very efficient on space right because we want to track only the k elements right okay so let's press run code see where we're at looks good so far let's press submit see if we pass all the test cases awesome guys we're able to pass all the test cases guys right if you guys found value and you guys enjoyed this video you don't add the comment section right if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe because i'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video